Hey guys, this is uh, Jerry Zomo Momo, and uh, I have time to do another video today. And this time, as you can see from my browser, we're going to look at uh, the Komodo Programs Manager. Now, this is an uninstall tool, uh, but what it also does is it looks like it looks at your computer. And if it uh, notices any partial uninstalls, uh, maybe incomplete uninstalls or drivers and services and processes, processes that uh, maybe don't link up to anything or, or are dead, it uh, will remove them. So um, we'll go ahead and try to download it. Now, I've got a couple of things running in the background on my host machine, and I think it's kind of with um, recording the video it's kind of slowed my computer down uh, quite a bit but uh, we'll see what happens we'll try to we'll try to get through it hopefully someday i'll be able to get my dream machine so to speak that uh, i can do multiple things at the same time but for now we got to do with what we have so let's go ahead and download the um, uh, komodo programs manager and see what it looks like Hopefully I can get this virtual machine to cooperate. We shall see. Let's see. Just wanted to make sure I was recording there. Okay. I think I clicked on download. Let's try it again. Well, I guess I have to make sure that I finish up whatever I'm doing on my host machine before I, I do these videos. So let's go ahead and download it. And uh, please keep in mind, this is a virtual machine. I have things running in the background. So if uh, it takes a bit for the download manager to open or to actually download, it's because uh, my machine right now is probably flat out with trying to to, to, to do things, multiple tasks at the same time. So we'll go ahead and download it. Uh, while we're waiting, uh, I mentioned on my first video I was going to give you a, a little bit of a background on my handle name, if you will, on YouTube, which is Zomo Lomo. Now, uh, I've been using that um, for some time when it comes to handles and, and what have you. And the, the way that the, how I got that name is uh, my son, when he was probably about three years old, um, we had got him a little doodle board and, um, you know, at three years old, he, or three or four years old, he's learning his letters and what have you, and he's learning to, to doodle. So um, what he did was he started writing letters in the doodle board. It's one of those that... Um, you know, you kind of write on it and you slide this little thing back and forth and it erases what you did. But anyway, he's starting to write letters and he wrote a bunch of letters, um, kind of like a word. And what he wrote out was Z-O-M-O-L-O-M-O, -O -O -O, Zomo Lomo. Um, so it kind of stuck with me that, you know, so young, he was able to kind of uh, incorporate those letters and write out that uh, word that he kind of made up. And uh, so, like I said, it kind of stuck with me, and, uh, and uh, that's how I got the name so, or the handle Zomo Lomo that I use, um, you know, different forms and sites and here on YouTube. So that's kind of my story of how I came up with that, with that handle, with that name. He's uh, he's seven now, so uh, it was quite a few years ago. 
so. All right. Well, it looks like it's hanging up here. I'm going to pause the video and uh, wait till this thing starts. Uh, oh, wait a minute. It's moving. So let's see if I have to pause the video. As it says here, it is free. There are a lot of uninstallers out there uh, that you can buy, but uh, this is free. So, um, you know, I, I do use it on my host machine, and I think it's every bit as good as um, as the other paid versions. Um, so, we'll take a look at it, and uh, we'll see how it works out. I kind of want to show you what the install looks like. I just don't want to. I want to try to do this in one video. I don't particularly think that this particular program will warrant more than one video, but we'll see what happens. Okay. I'll be right back as soon as the next screen pops up. Okay, so I'm back. And uh, it's asking me to uh, if I wanted to uh, register um, or give in my email address, which is optional, but I'll skip that. All right. So it's uh, going to reboot. I'll be right back. All right, guys, I'm back. <clears throat> I went ahead and uh, restarted the computer. <clears throat> and uh, as you can see here, the Komodo Programs Manager installed. I right clicked and ran this as administrator. And this is what the interface looks like. I really, really, really like the uh, look of this. Um, again, you know, I, I go by looks. I we love things that look good as well as um, fun functionality wise is uh, it works great so the combination of both really gets my um, gets my attention so this is a summary screen that comes up anytime you open uh, CPM and uh, here you get your programs uh, you can look at your drivers and services that are running out it's not really going to work good on this because it is a virtual machine and a lot of the things that it works off of is the uh, host machine. Um, you have your features that you can turn on and off and your look at your updates to see what what's running. Down here basically it's just links to different areas of the Komodo website. Um, up here you have your settings. Very straightforward. You can clean up your storage file. You can confirm. Um, you can confirm each file, shared library files. You can make a backup. Uh, you can automatically check for updates when you open your uh, Komodo Programs Manager or when you start up. Uh, you can automatically update, and you can check for beta availability as well. Um, or if you change it and it doesn't work right, you can. Go back to the default settings uh, from the factory. <clears throat> so those are your settings. Uh, update it checks for if there are any updates, and as of right now, there are no updates available. I have the latest version. Uh, this gives you some information about CPM. Uh, this is version one, build thirty. Gives you a link to their website. Pretty straightforward, and then you have your help um, as uh, basically any other program would be. So if we click on programs, it'll give you a list of all of the programs that are installed. Now, uh, here you're going to see a, a monitored column. Now everything else looks similar to your uh, pre-installed Windows uninstaller, except that it has a monitored column. Now one of the things, and, and yes, I do know that this is a free program, but one of the things that I don't like about CPM is the fact that if the program was installed prior to you installing CPM, 
it cannot monitor that program similar to like a Revo or something like that. Now, granted, you know, the Revo free version does uh, or can uh, look at leftover registry keys and, and folders and files for any program that uh, was installed, whether it was before or after you installed that program. So in that respect, I think Revo is a little bit better than, than CPM, even Revo free. Um, but once you do install something and you monitor it, then um, CPM is really good about getting rid of everything off of your computer. It'll completely wipe it out. So what I'm going to do at this point is um, pause the video again. I'm going to install a couple of things uh, onto the system that CPM can monitor. And then I'll come back and I'll show you what it looks like when we uninstall them. So I will be right back. Okay, guys, I'm back. Um, I installed a couple of programs. Let me just show you real quick the uh, other um, areas of <clears throat> of uh, Komodo Programs Manager or CPM. Um, here it shows all of the drivers that are um, running, what their status is, their service name, uh, the type, whether it's a service or a driver. Uh, and it also gives you a path, which is really good um, because if it happens to be malware or, or something to that effect, you can kind of pinpoint where in a computer it's located. It tells you if it's signed. So a lot of great, great uh, information on the drivers and services. Um, here is a list of your features. And uh, here it's really good because uh, this is kind of like one stop. Um, you can pretty much turn on and off any feature right from this screen that uh, you want to run. So that's really good. And then the last one is your Windows update. Can't really do a lot with it. You can't uninstall from here. If you click on any one of them, it tells you you can't uninstall on your current operating system. So, um, you know, it's good that it tells you all of the updates that are installed, but that's pretty much as far as it goes. Okay. So let's look at the programs and uh, we'll see where we are here. Um, all right, so I installed CCleaner, and if I click on it, now it says here that it is being monitored, okay? What that means is when I click on uninstall, I can either do a standard uninstall or Komodo uninstall. And if I click on that, it's going to uninstall the program and uh, everything else, every any registry key or file that's associated with it. So um, it's uninstalling. It tells you the files and directories and the registry keys that are associated with CCleaner. And now it's going to uninstall it. Okay, here you can see the icon is gone. Um, so essentially it completely, um, it, it completely wiped out CCleaner. And of course, where some of them were being used on system reboot, it'll get rid of the rest. Uh, the Fraggler, yeah, just the second one, both Pinaform products or programs, very good um, programs. Um, here, uh, again, it's being monitored. If I click on it, I can uninstall. If I click on it, it gives me an option for standard or Komodo. And same thing, just like with CCleaner, it'll uh, it, it'll scan the system. It'll um, detect any file, folder, uh, registry keys that are associated with the program. Uh, it'll uh, and if you if you kind of open or expand it, it'll give you every pro file, program, uh, registry key that's associated with that program. And if you continue, it'll get rid of that program completely off your system and uh, there we go so uh, a quick little look at CPM if you want to see anything else specific to it um, comment let me know what else you want to see as far as uh, the, for a free for a free program it's a very good uninstall program you can't go wrong you know it is free so uh, that's it hope you enjoyed it thanks